hello hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a street food tour at london old spitalfield market so recently i put up a video that says what to eat in london and i asked you if you wanted to see a more in-depth video about the street food here at spitalfield so voila here we are we're going to start off with bleaker burger and then we're going to eat our way through some select stores and choose some things to eat so i thought a good thing to start off is Bleaker Burger has been here for a few years and it's probably arguably one of the best burgers in London. I'm so excited! I've not had lunch so I can eat to my heart's content so I hope you are hungry. Grab a snack and let's eat through the market together. Old Spitalfield Market is situated in East London with the nearest transport links being Liverpool Street, Allgate East, Moorgate and Shoreditch High Street. It's open seven days a week and beyond an incredible selection of street food stores, you'll also find work from local artists, vintage markets, music and homeware stores, as well as a collection of restaurants and boutique shops. with the angry fries which look like this and then we have the blue burger so you can choose between a single or a double and over the top we've got some blue cheese some onions some lettuce on a sesame topped bun and the whole thing came to 11 pounds so seven pounds for the burger and four pounds for the fries and this is what it looks like so i'm gonna give it a bite Juicy. The beef is absolutely amazing. The bun is soft. My hands are dirty and the blue cheese is insane. Like so, so, so good. Time for the angry fries. So these have been soaked in spicy sauce. It's probably similar to kind of like Tabasco sauce. It's a little bit tangy. And it's been drizzled over with blue cheese over the top. So I'm not feeling angry eating it. I'm actually feeling quite happy. But it is a lot more soggy because it's been soaked in a sauce, so if you prefer, maybe either ask for a separate chilli sauce or have fries on its own and then dip if you don't want it soggy. I'm now at Yifang for some Taiwanese winter melon tea and I'm pretty proud of myself because I managed to order the whole thing in Mandarin and it's 3.45 and it's ready! Thank you! Bye! Bye. So for a large, it's £3.45 and I have the traditional winter melon with thick sweeteners and it's got a little bit of ice and it tastes even better than gong cha in Hong Kong. It's controversial but you found they know how to make the Taiwanese fruit tea and it's so good. Yum bun and um, we ordered two buns for eight pounds. Eat me while I steamy. It's kind of my mantra too. So we've got the fried chicken and the crispy tofu and it looks like this. Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm guessing this one is the um, fried chicken and the crispy tofu has a black bean mayo and it's also got some garlic bat chai in it as well so I really love the combination of the flavours and I love the presentation it's good it's in a steamed paratha bun um, and it's it's Taiwanese isn't it the style of it is Taiwanese so I'm excited to try it we've got the chicken now you've got two bits of the fried chicken and it sits on some mayo mayo some pickles lettuce and some chili so I'm gonna give it a go combination of fried chicken and mayo I just think that is especially with the pickles as the pickles and the mayo and the chicken is a beautiful combination the bun is perfectly steamed not over steamed at all delicious mm. now I'm gonna try the crispy tofu mm. a lot tastier than I thought it's going to be the tofu is so full of flavor 
and because it's fried, it is super crispy, but obviously it retains the texture of the tofu inside. That is so surprising, it's so good. If you're vegetarian, I feel like you're still going to have a great time here. I'm going to finish this now. Sorry about the construction. Hi, me again, let me tell you, that is a must try along with the fried chicken, but they also have miso mushroom and pork belly too, so you can mix and match, or get all four, go crazy, because it's definitely worth it. And this is yum bun. So good. We've got dumpling shack again, we came here last time, and this time we're going to order the vegan dumplings in soy dressing. So last time somebody asked me to do a vegan food, so I'm going to try with this one and I'm going to film a separate video all about vegan food, but for now... <laughs> vegan dumpling time! <laughs> right, so we have the vegan dumplings in soy dressing. But this is actually my first time ever trying vegan dumplings and they are way bigger than I thought they were. So these are five pounds, which is very, very good value for money. Um, and it's different to their signature pork soup dumplings because these are not pan fried. But it's got some spring onion on the top and some of the soy garlic dressing sauce over the top. And each one is pretty fat. So you get six dumplings, which is pretty good for five pounds. Let's try the first one. Ah! Like this. Good. The outside is very, very doughy from it being boiled in the water. It's a different kind of texture to the pan fried ones. And inside, we've got some carrot, celery, shiitake mushroom, and tofu, and vermicelli. So it's got a really, really interesting, crunchy texture. It's nice to see a vegan option on the menu. So yeah, here's one for you. And next time, I'll do some more vegan spots in London. For me, I still prefer the pork dumplings just because I love soup dumplings and I love the filling and I love the taste of it. But I think this is a very, very good alternative, especially if you're not a meat eater. And I think if you're having this for a lunch, this would definitely fill you up. People are giving me weird looks, but it's fine because I'm swimming. I'm now so full. I just managed to eat three meals pretty much in a sitting, but it's all worth it for the video, it's just for research. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I think my favorite thing, definitely the vegan burger, because the blue cheese burger is absolutely insane. But also, Yum Bun does come a close second. The vegan dumplings wasn't my cup of tea, that's because I'm not a massive vegan dumpling fan. I love the pork soup one, but I know that there's definitely a market for it and people would enjoy it if you are into vegan dumpling. But I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And for more street food market tours for me, and if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe for more food, travel, and lifestyle videos from me. And I shall see you in two days because this is part of my Vlogtober series. So there's going to be a new video on this channel every two days. So I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye. So full. <laughs>